It's so good, as always, to see you, Lenny. What a time to be talking. A lot to talk about. Are we on now? Yeah, we're on now. All right. So you can start talking now. Okay. The tape is rolling. If the tape's not rolling, there's no point in saying anything. Okay. Okay. And anyway, so welcome. Welcome very much to Conversation. A pleasure to welcome to the program. A dear friend of Conversations in the World is Lenny Brenner, scholar extraordinaire, uh, public intellectual of the greatest order, has written all kinds of books, some of which are falling apart but are still living in the canon of uh, Western understanding, including Zionism in the Age of Dictators. Show him that one, Lenny. It's falling apart, but happily, we're to say, it is being reissued. Yes. Zionism in the Age of Dictators, Jefferson and Madison on the separation of church, 51 documents, a Zionist, uh, what is that again, with the... Uh, Zionist collaboration with the Nazis. Yeah, that's an editorship on his part. He's done that. And we're going to also be talking about the lesser evil, the Democratic Party. He's written widely on a number of subjects. Unfortunately, he's not very opinionated himself. He's very conventional in his way of thinking and so forth, <laughs> which is the biggest joke of the history of the universe. Good to see you. Again. Okay. Okay, welcome, Lenny. Okay. Talk. Now... I got something to show you. Okay. All right. And yeah. this really is a curio. Okay. All right? Okay. I just bought mm -hmm. an original. This is yeah. not a copy of a Nazi medal or token that was given to Leopold von, von Mildenstein, the uh -huh. head of the Jewish office of the SS, after he came back from Palestine, 1933, 1934. He went there as the guest of the Zionist Federation of Germany, oh. all right? They were doing a little... What year again? 1933. Hitler comes to power. The year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. the defining all year, right. yeah. And the, to commemorate his trip to Palestine uh -huh. and the articles that he wrote about Zionist, the Zionist colonies in Palestine, mm -hmm. et cetera, they put this out, and... Uh, this it, is the Nazi party? Yeah, the Nazi party. Now, okay. The, now, let me see. I'm going to try. If you, I'm going to be very patient with you guys with the robotic camera, but if you can come in, I'm just hang, I'm holding it here in my hand. It's a very small metal, but if you can scroll in on this while Lenny talks about it, and let's let the people take a look if you can do it, and we're patient for you to do it. But talk about the medal. Okay. What it says on one side is a Nazi fought not Palestina. Okay. At this side? With the Star of David? Oh, this one. This is yeah. the side that you'll be coming right. in on. A when Nazi they get the fought not Palestina. Maybe they won't be All right. Well, well, you can come in really tight. Yeah. Okay. okay. That means a Nazi travels to Palestine. And then right. turn it around. Okay, show it turn to it around All like right. that. Now you got there the you other go. side, you have a Star of David. Now you have a swastika, mm -hmm. and it says, and tells about it in Angriff. Angriff was, means struggle, uh -huh. and it was the paper of, the, of Goebbels, <laughs> the propaganda minister, uh -huh. the head of the SS, all that uh -huh. uh, stuff, you know, they... Mm -hmm. Bad mouth him and call him a, a murderer right, and stuff right, like right, that, right, you know. Right, okay, right. and this is a a commemorative medal. I just bought it. I I had read about it, you uh -huh. know, of course, years ago, and there was discussion of it and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. But now I have it, and there you go. Now yeah, it's, it's on there. This, it's yeah, okay. Turn, 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 turn well, the other side. Well, we show both sides. It was okay. not before. So yeah, yeah, we're trying yeah, to yeah. do it. It takes a while for him to come okay, in. Okay, good. And enough. it's in German, right? So of course, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and what this was was a uh, a sweetheart agreement that uh, the Nazis and the Zionists worked out. Uh, von Mildenstein, see, von Mildenstein was one of the leaders of the SS at that time. Mm -hmm. He was uh, he later became Eichmann's tutor or mentor. Okay, really? yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh, and uh, Eichmann also went. To Palestine as the guest of the Zionists, mm -hmm. but that was later. He okay. went in 1937. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He was a guest of the Haganah, which is yeah. now was the Labor Party underground and is now uh, okay. We're going to de facto yeah. the Israeli army. Yeah. And okay. didn't you tell me one time that the only two flags that flew under Nazi Germany was the swastika and the Star of David? Yes. If you if you were you a Jew, you, yeah. you of course you could not fly the swastika. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you were a Jew, you could fly the Star of David, which is, by the way, is not 
he, uh, 99 out of 100 Jews think that the Star of David is like the symbol of Judaism. Mm. Right? It isn't. It isn't. The right. symbol of Judaism, if there is a symbol, because yeah. remember, you can't make graven images yeah, and all that right, kind of right, stuff, right, 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 right. is the seven uh, uh, fingered the, the candelabra, the yeah. menorah. Yeah. All right? Uh -huh. But what it is, is that what we call the Star of David, the two yeah, triangles the two crossed. Triangles which is a universal symbol, it's all over the world, it's all, okay. Mm -hmm. It was on the outside wall of the main synagogue in Prague. Really? Under the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Mm -hmm. And somehow that became the symbol of the Jews mm -hmm. in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, you know, with the, the gay Viennese yeah. waltzes yeah. and uh, all that yeah. good stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it just took off from there, mm -hmm. and the Zionists adapted it mm -hmm. as their flag. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not bad-mouthing the Zionists in this case. I yeah. mean, they simply took... There's enough you can do it, there. But, it, yeah. it, it came out of the folk tradition, but it really isn't the symbol of the right. Jewish religion. But it right. is interesting, it was allowed to fly in Nazi Germany. Yes. It was, Even though they were well, running I'm, I'm, this anti-Semitic yes. uh, pogrom about see, to come. What, yeah. what, what, Odd. All right, you see, what happened was this. Uh, the, the, uh, you've got to remember, 1933, Hitler comes to power in, in January 1933. The entire world economy is bankrupt. Mm -hmm. Nothing is happening, yeah, yeah. all right? So trade is super important, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. and the problem that Hitler had was... Mm -hmm. He wanted to drive the Jews out of Germany, kill them, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, he had to sell German products abroad, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And this was at a time, 1933, mm -hmm. when 29% of the people in the city of New York were Jewish. Yeah. And the business world was overwhelmingly Jewish. You know, the, natural, tra the, uh, yeah. the, 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 the wow. shops, wow. And, you know, the, the stores, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. And, if he went the other way, in Poland, mm. Jews were 10% of the population of Poland, and they were the bulk of the, of the business community. That's there. very interesting, isn't uh, it? Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and uh -huh. this is yeah. true throughout and Eastern is... Europe, et cetera. So mm -hmm. uh, if you're talking about boycotting the Jews, mm -hmm. et cetera, the your problem point. with that is that you can't sell your products. You got to you got to deal with the you guy gotta, that you can deal. deal. Yeah, all right, right, okay. right, right, exactly. So yeah. von Mildenstein yeah. says, "Look, all this talk bad mouthing the Jews. Mm -hmm. You're not doing anything practical. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something practical." Mm -hmm. And he started pushing Zionism. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and and what they did was they worked out a trade agreement. In the Hebrew, it's called Ha'avara. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and basically what it is is. Uh, I'm a German Jew. I take 20,000 Reichmarks, mm -hmm. okay? I give them to the German government, mm -hmm. okay? Now, anybody, Jew or Gentile, going out of Nazi Germany, or out of Germany, even yeah. before the Nazis, yeah, yeah, yeah. had to pay a fee for money going out. Yeah, and they couldn't take much with them. All right. Yeah. So if you went from Berlin to New York, they nicked you for, you know, an astronomical amount, mm -hmm. okay? They 20, being the, the Nazis. Nazis. As you left. As you yeah. left, yes. Mm -hmm. But if I'm the Jew, I give them 20,000 Reichmarks to the Nazis, the Nazis would then send, let us say, 18,000 Reichmarks worth of pipes, you know, irrigation so pipes, to Palestine where the Zionists would sell them and give me 17,000, the equivalent of 17,000. So they make a deal. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to, to get more goods out of Germany, the, not, the Zionists started selling Nazi goods in other parts of the Middle East, like mm -hmm. in Iraq, et cetera, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they tried to sell them in, in Britain, but the British Jews just said, don't even bother. They I mean, did get their economy going. Well, it, let me put it this way. You see, Zionism lived off contributions from rich pro-Zionist Jews. Okay. In the middle of, of the Depression, Nobody has any money. Let me ask so, you so, so, yeah, so, wait a minute. So, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. they're broke, and all of a sudden, the Nazi government comes along with this deal. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, so, yeah. so, they grabbed at it. But in return for which, they are breaking the boycott of Nazi Germany. In uh -huh. other words, most Jews throughout the world automatically said, I don't buy German goods, I don't sell yeah, German goods, right, et cetera, et cetera. Right, right. Other anti-Nazis said the same thing. Yeah. So the Zionists were 
within the Jewish community work de facto working for the Nazis. Now yeah. that meant you that, got the documentation. Oh, I mean, I, yeah. I, I collaboration. Understand. Yeah. But, yeah, understand what yeah. I simply did was I went through Zionist publications in German and in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. remember you can do German. Well, I can. I, I have what they call scholars German. Yeah. In other words, yeah. Yeah. if I know that a particular document mm. is important to me, I get somebody to translate it, and then I go over the translation with a and German you can dictionary. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's called scholars yeah, German. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, yeah. I mean, I don't speak German. Mm -hmm. Nine. Mm -hmm. But. Nine? Nine. Nine, 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 yeah. nine, nine but, palabra. But, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. For, yeah. I, I yeah. make sure I go word for word through the, you know, with a dictionary over translations. I had to pass the test with a PhD and I can't remember a word hardly at all, oh, yeah, but that's no, another yeah. story. Oh, yeah, no, One that's... question I want to ask you, I hear, first of all, no, first two questions. If, if you got that kind of a participation in the business community, say Poland or Europe or Romania or something, could they not have put deposits in Swiss banks before the, the, the really hard time came down upon them as a way of hiding the money in a numbered account if they're going to go to another country? Well, the Is problem, that a possibility? Well, that, that was another a, thing uh, I want to ask you, and you follow through on when I ask you. Were the Nazis involved in the Reichstag fire or not? Okay. Uh, uh, to, to, totally separate Totally questions. different, but All interesting. Right. Okay. Well, 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 one at a time. Okay. You see, you take a, a, a Jewish businessman who had a store, let's say, in Berlin. Yeah. Okay. His or problem, Romania. Or, well, no, 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 no. Okay, we're talking about oh, okay, 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 Germany, okay, and that's okay, it. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have money. I have the store. Mm. Okay. So I have to sell the store and to get money. Yeah. All right. And they, they forbid that after when? No. I, 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 they wanted me. I, I'm the Jew. The Nazis wanted me to sell the store to a German and get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see, yeah. All right. But you couldn't take the money with you. Yeah, you could take the money, but they nicked it. They nicked you for a piece of a big piece of it as you went like out the door. Like ninety percent, or no, right? no, about about twenty five percent. Twenty five, they nicked right. going out. Okay, but I if, didn't realize that. If you that. did okay. the trade deal yeah, you, with yeah. the Zionists, you got less of a nick as you I went see. out the door. Oh, I see. Oh, All right, I see. that was the advantage from the Zionist perspective. Mm -hmm. Now it was limited. In other words, if you were a really a multimillionaire, yeah, you had a lot of money. Then it was. And you didn't want to go to Palestine because what were you going to do there? Mm, I mean, there's ride nothing a happening. Yeah. You know, ride a camel, yeah, right. Uh, okay. So you would rather pay more money going out the door and go to New York yeah. or wherever. Right. You know, okay. A lot did. Well, yeah, who I'm could, saying yeah. those who could. Mm -hmm, all right. Exactly. Now, uh, in 1937, when the uh, uh, Zionists, uh, uh, the Haganah, invited uh, Eichmann, uh, to Palestine, mm. and he was there, yeah. okay, uh, they offered to go look for oil assets in the Middle East uh -huh. for the Germans, uh -huh. in return for which they hoped to get, they told Lagman, what we want from you guys uh -huh. is, of course, less money taken out <coughs> in the way of a nick uh -huh. going out the door. Okay. okay. Now, but the Nazis weren't interested. I was under the impression they would take practically everything if you were No, in no, 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 That's no. That's because, you see, I mean, they... Even by 39 see, they, or 37? No, 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 get... let me explain. You see, okay. it, 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 this is where von Mildenstein comes in. Mm -hmm. He's, he, his attitude was, look, it's easy enough to say, get the hell out of here to mm -hmm. the Jews, mm -hmm. okay? But if you don't have, if they don't have some money, no one will take them mm -hmm. out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. And even if they have money, mm -hmm. people don't want them in their country because that's a competitor mm -hmm. coming into the country when there's no business in the country, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. But if you send them to Palestine, mm -hmm. then you have the best of all possible mm -hmm. worlds. They're out of Germany, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? And they're not in New York or London or some other place bad-mouthing Germany. So that's a non-zero-sum. The Nazis want the Jews out and the Jews want them in exactly. Palestine. That was exactly, so that, no wonder they exactly, collaborated. Exactly. Oh. exactly. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, I interviewed Joachim Prinz, who was one of the leaders of the Zionist movement at the time. I have it on tape. Mm. Uh, you know, this was back in the 80s when I wrote the, uh, Zionism in the Age of the Dictators. Mm. And, uh, classic, you know, classic. Well, but yeah. what I'm saying is, is that... Uh, you know, oh, he admitted it. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we thought that we could make a deal, you know, with some of the uh, enlightened elements, let's say, in the SS, okay? Mm -hmm. And the von Mildenstein was the, was the height of that. Now, uh, to show you 
how committed von Mildenstein, the, the head of the Jewish office of the SS, was to Zionism, uh, when uh, Kurt Tuchler, one of the leaders of the uh, Zionist movement in Germany, came to his office, he had Jewish music playing on the on the on the uh, phonograph for him, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mel Brooks could do wonders. Well, yeah. you know, he, uh, look, yeah. we were talking before the show about yeah. how there's reality and then there's what people yeah. know. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Here now, let, let me give you an example of something. Uh, let, let's uh, up, update it. We're talking oh. about Zionism in the 30s, etc. Okay. By Most, 39, he had a he had an approval rating of something like 97 percent. Who, who's he? Hitler. Adolf Hitler was approved by something like 90. Oh well, I mean, you, 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 of look, the population look, 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 by look, 1939. Let me let me put it this way: uh, Hitler came to power 33. in 1933. 36 percent of the German people voted for the Social Democrats. Mm -hmm. Another 12 percent for the for the uh, Communist Party. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm that a big piece of that was won over to Hitler, you know, afterwards, okay, they got demoralized by his victory yeah. and their defeat. And, okay. the, and the economy but, boomed. But it wasn't, no, 97%. It wasn't. It was, no, oh, okay. nothing like that. In other words, a okay. lot of these guys were... Do you know what it was? Uh, it, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, who's taking the poll? In, well, in, I don't know. I, I mean, forget well, about it. Would it be in the record. No, I mean, no. forget about some it. Poll, I'm, some look, I'm people. saying no, some, who, who took the, whoever took the poll... In Nazi Germany, it, 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 it doesn't count. Thank but, you. I will no longer use that yeah, expression. Yeah. I don't know where I got All it. All right. Okay. 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 Now, but, but uh, what I'm saying now, uh, I just uh, uh, wrote a letter to uh, Columbia Magazine about Winston Churchill, mm. okay, who uh, in that period, uh, number one, he was absolutely convinced uh, and wrote about it <laughs> that uh, communism was a Jewish plot to take over the world, uh -huh. okay, and he went the to... The internationalists. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he went to uh, Rome and told the fascist party in 1927 that if I were an Italian, I would tell you that I would have been with you guys, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the Spanish Civil War in 1937, mm -hmm. he said, look, uh, uh, you got communism fighting Nazism in uh, Poland, and uh, I'm not going to say that I'm neutral in a fight between Nazism and communism. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it was around 37, after 37, that he began to realize, hey, this guy really has it out for everybody, not just the Jews and mm -hmm. and, and and the communists, mm -hmm. but by he you mean? Are you talking Churchill? Churchill? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, mm -hmm. now. I'm, I'm reading this, and I'm also, you know, we're talking about today's uh, uh, Israel and today's America. Uh, Obama just became the uh, yeah. Democratic... Just one second. The thing about the Reichstag fire. Oh, Were the Nazis okay. involved or not? Uh, no, What's it was word? a mad... It was a mad... Uh, mad Dutchman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Nazis caught him. They tried to put the Communist Party on trial. Uh, there, there was a... Uh, I think a Bulgarian uh, uh, communist involved, uh, but he made fools of them at it the... Was, he was Dutch, wasn't he? No, okay. no, the, man, the guy who okay. did it was yeah. Dutch, yeah. but they, when they yeah. put these communists on trial, one of them was a foreigner. Mm -hmm. I think, I, don't hold me to it, I think he was a Bulgarian mm -hmm. uh, communist international leader, uh, and uh, he made fools of them. Uh, it was obvious that the, the Nazis had... the, the uh, Communists had nothing to do I with I saw David Ray Griffith talking about that. I went home and pulled out my William Shire, and I thought William Shire seemed to say that the Nazi Party was at least taking advantage of yeah, that. Yeah, he took advantage of it, in right. In order to build, because, but it backfired. Shire, because they put it over to 9-11 and stuff. Uh, and all right, you know, but what yeah. I'm trying to say is that it backfired on uh -huh. them, because yeah. at the trial, when mm -hmm. they had to put these guys on trial, yeah. okay, uh, you know, it was obvious the communists didn't do it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it just disappeared. I mean, we know about it. But, Did you know, it contribute to their uh, winning the election? No, in it was after the election. No, it was after the election? No, yeah. it was? The fire was? Yeah. Oh, it was. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I mean, don't hold, again, you know, oh, I yeah, expect... I we'll go Mr. Shire now. But yeah. I, I, as I recall, the Nazis win, mm -hmm. okay, and then it happens. I see. In other words, there's an interim period mm -hmm. where the Nazis win, but the parliament still exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. 
with a Nazi majority, yeah. right, yeah. right, the Reich, Reichstag, yeah. okay, and then finally goes out of business. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay now go back on to, I just okay. did it because now, the 9-11 is the right, force now, and David Ray Griffiths and all that. When you're talking about today, mm -hmm. today's Zionists mm -hmm. in America and in Israel, yeah. the immense majority of Zionists have no idea that this business with the medal ever happens. Yeah, they would okay. think it's propaganda All right. or something. It can't now, be. A yeah. few scholars know about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, they're scholars, you know. Yeah, there they are know a about few it. left. Yeah. yeah, all right. But they have no idea about it, all right? Mm -hmm. But if you know about it, you're not shocked to discover that in the Cold War period that the Zionists were allied to apartheid South Africa, uh -huh. okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the average young Jew in the United States today, who grow, if he grows up in a Zionist family, they don't know about either this business with Hitler mm -hmm. or the business with apartheid South Is Africa. Is that going down the memory hole? It, well, you know, in other words, they're young people, yeah. but Obama, of mm -hmm. course, he doesn't know about the stuff with the Nazis, but he knows <coughs> about Israel and South Africa mm -hmm. because when they started pressuring him, they meaning the, the press, or no. No, well, you know, the press, yeah, okay, the yeah. Zionists, mm -hmm. and, you know, di mm -hmm. different elements started right. asking him, uh -huh. uh, what about you and your Reverend Wright? Yeah, right. Okay. He finally said, look, all right, I know you guys are worried about You know, I was in Reverend Wright's uh, church and mm -hmm. he was anti-Zionist. You got to understand, he says, that's because Israel is tied in with South Africa. Apartheid. Yeah. Okay. And he says, Obama, that you know, he, he, he chaired a couple of meetings on apartheid, etc. Mm -hmm. You know, but he hardly talks about it. They could have learned a lot from South Africa because it looks a lot like apartheid in that part of the world to me. That is what was Israel, West Bank, looks awfully like apartheid to me. Well, let me put it this way. The, the uh, uh, Israeli government immediately identified themselves with uh, uh, the apartheid regime. You mean regime. back to Ben-Gurion and that? Well, I, 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 after the 1967 war, okay, mm. Israel has now the Sinai Peninsula, which is in Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So every one of the independent states in Africa and every one of the movements for independence, like in the South, you know, the African uh, National Congress in uh, 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 South Africa, etc., automatically identified with Egypt and demanded that Israel get out of Sinai, which is in Africa. Well, that was the thing to be, uh, yeah. Okay, right, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. So whereupon, mm -hmm. Israel immediately started out to ally itself with the apartheid regime, mm -hmm. selling it weapons, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, yeah. all right? Uh -huh. And learning. And something else that people forget now, but you know, it was going on all the time. Mm -hmm. They provided goon squads, security guards, etc., for black African dictators. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. example, in uh, uh, Uganda with uh, uh, Uganda. Uh, Idi Amin. Idi Amin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Zionists. He he the he was a general in the Ugandan army, and it was the Zionists that got him to take power. Then, okay. when he took power, he got annoyed at the Zionists and, and began to flirt with the Palestinians and the Palestinians supported him, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I remember once uh, back in those bad old days having a discussion with a Palestinian friend of mine and saying, you know, neither side can really pat themselves on the back. What a wonderful job they did for mm. the people of Uganda. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah, Zionists yeah, yeah. pushed yeah, yeah. Idi Amin into power and then... <laughs> The Palestinians <laughs> took over, you know. I mean, strange and, and, Well, yeah, you know, yeah, this is yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Let me put it this way: this is all, uh, you know, diplomatic. Risk for Mel Brooks. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, meanwhile, Obama, okay, mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, he he he. I, I, there are things I don't understand about him. Uh, all right. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, they're so strange that, you know, apparently, both his white mother. Mm -hmm. and his uh, black Muslim father mm -hmm. were atheists. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, how he went from that environment yeah. into <laughs> the Church of Christ, I mean, right. yeah. you know. Uh -huh. I mean, let me put it this way. Yeah. It's entirely possible okay. that he did it. Anything can happen under God's sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's a little problem with yeah. that. Uh -huh. He is a lawyer and a Democrat, uh -huh. and neither lawyers nor Democrats <laughs> are noted for their honesty. <laughs> All right. So when he says, yes, yeah, I found yeah, Jesus yeah, in yeah, Reverend yeah, Wright's church, yeah, yeah. okay, uh, yeah, it's yeah. automatic for me to say, why did he find it? Uh, what we, well, the reason yeah. I say that is yeah. one thing that I know, and if you remember Stokely Carmichael, yeah, God he, he always said, look, he says, the yeah. black population mm. is overwhelmingly religious. Mm -hmm. So my theory, and this is only a theory, mm -hmm is that he found Jesus, mm -hmm. okay, in a black church in a white denomination, okay, mm -hmm. so that he could relate to the people, all right? Uh, and broad in the country? In, no, in Chicago. Oh, in Chicago, In Chicago, right, okay, all right? Yeah, yeah. Now look, uh, one of his uh, buddies uh, just was found guilty of bribery in uh, Chicago. This guy, uh, Be surprised Resco. If somebody was. You're Resco. All right. All right. A, yeah. I'm not sure he's his buddy, but okay. well, oh, well, he, he, in other all words, right, they, all right, all right, he right. bought his home from Resco, the well, property around his home from Resco. All right. Okay. Oh, and he's apologized. I was harebrained when I did it. You know. Okay. Mm. Uh, now uh, he, uh, he, we got another one from him. Mm. Obama aid quits under fire for business ties, all right? And it's James uh, Johnson, the consummate Washington insider, uh, a former chief executive of Fannie Mae, all Fannie right? Fannie Mae, big office. Yeah, 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 yeah. except that uh, uh, he had to quit because uh, he got, uh, his man Johnson, who was the guy checking out vice presidential potentials. Oh, that's right. Yeah, just yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah. Uh, was uh, a bit uh, of a, uh, yeah. a, a, a he 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 got favors from some of the companies that Fannie Mae was doing business with. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. So that guy had to resign. And then to top it all off, in today's paper. No, I didn't get a chance to see. All right. John Sweeney, the head of AFL-CIO, yeah, yeah. is critical of Obama's top economics aide. Uh, new guy. Uh, yeah, yeah new guy, that. Jason Furman. Used to be with Clinton. All right. Now, Sweeney says, uh, th th remember, Sweeney is the president of the AFL-CIO. Yeah. Quote, for years we've been expressing strong concerns about corporate influence on the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure he's been expressing it, all right? Mm -hmm. but there's only one little problem with that, mm -hmm. right? In politics... If you're a halfway intelligent politician, okay, you know, I mean, mm. mayor of New York, governor, mm. senator, something yeah, like you that. You've got to have some smarts. You've got to have some smarts, venue, okay. Yeah. After a while, you look at everybody the same way. And you look at them and you say, if I don't give the beggar what he wants, what will he do to hurt me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, business world like that too. Well, I mean, you know, so so uh, uh, Obama looks at Sweeney, head of the AFL-CIO, and says, if I don't give him a good economic policy, good for labor, mm -hmm. what will he do to hurt me? Mm -hmm. And the answer is absolutely nothing. He okay. will vote for Obama, and he will tell his Who else wife are you going to vote for? Gonna vote for well, but, but well, no, all right, but mm. you see what I'm saying. The lesser evil, I would but, call but it. But you yeah. see, the, the, <laughs> the, the thing about lesser evilism mm. is that you vote for somebody because he's a... Le you vote for evil, mm. let's put it No matter through. who, yeah. You vote for evil... Mm. The system thinking, is evil, yeah. ...thinking you're going to get something in return. Mm. But you are not going to get much, if mm -hmm. anything. Not even your thirty pieces of silver. Because yeah. they know you're going to vote for them as the lesser evil, whether they give you something or not. Mm, got you by the short hair. All right. Yeah. Well, but mm. let me put it this way: Given you ain't got system. you. You got yourself by the short hairs okay. in that okay. situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'll I'll put it to you this way: mm -hmm. uh, Ob Obama went to the APEC. It's the America yeah, Israel yeah. Politic, uh, Public Affairs Committee. Yeah, all right? Just a few days ago. Okay, just a few days ago. And he got up and he made a fine speech. Wore about, a flag pin. 
Yeah, with an Israeli time. flag yeah. and an American flag. Oh, he wouldn't right? wear an American flag, you know. All right, but yeah. hey, uh, but he's above principle. All right, all right. Yeah. Did I say that? <laughs> Did I say it? You said that, not me. All right. And he tells him, yes, I'm for a Jerusalem as the undivided capital of Israel. Yay! Uh, and everybody goes, whoopee, yeah, he, woo! Wowed them. He wowed them. All right. Okay. In the big room. But mm. what immediately happened mm. was all the Palestinians and the Arabs and the Muslims in the world started yelling all and screaming. All kinds of flags. Went all right. So, yeah, so he, whereupon... Yeah. He swings around and says, whoa, I meant undivided capital, but of course they should negotiate it with it, about it. It should be the capital for the Arabs, too. For the Arabs, too. Whereupon all the Zionists said, (laughs) why didn't you say that when you were in front of us instead of this undivided? Well, he didn't have to add that. He didn't have to add the talk about the Jerusalem. So so the upshot upshot of it, the upshot of it is, this guy who just won the nomination, it's too yeah, late I know. to take it away from Hadn't him. Hadn't even had okay. that meeting with Hillary yet. Got though. up, yeah. got up, mm-hmm. and outraged both the Arabs and the Israelis at the same time. Well, that may be something to be said for uh, no. that. No, in other words. Uh, you think he's going to lose well, the vote? Where the hell are they going to vote me, if they don't vote for him? Let me put it this way. Yeah. Morton Klein, who's an extreme mm-hmm. right-wing Zionist, he got up and said something about Obama speech, mm. he said, look, it sounds to me like he got up and told a Jewish audience what he thought they wanted to hear. Yeah, well, he All did. Right. Well, wait, no, no, no. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah. My attitude is this. If me and Morton Klein disagree over <laughs> some trouble, we uh, could both be wrong. Uh-huh. But if me and Morton Klein agree about something, uh-huh. the chances of it being a fact uh-huh. are very high. Uh-huh. All right? uh-huh. And I agree with, with right-wing Morton Zionist Klein. Morton Klein uh-huh. that Obama got up and told the Jewish Zionist orga- exactly organization exactly what they wanted, what they to, wanted hear. to hear. First time that's ever happened uh, by a politician <laughs> in the history of the world. <laughs> All right. But I'm saying, look, there's something, we- I mean, that's weird, yeah. you know, like, to get into a fist fight with everybody, mm-hmm. okay, but no, it's not a fist fight. You're actually getting their hosannas. Well, you got, yeah, yeah, right, but yeah. it turns into a fist fight with everybody after with the Arabs who thought they were All right. Being but, but but I'm saying, in other words, he gets up, and within 24 hours has has made everybody suspicious of him. Uh huh. Okay, uh-huh. this is the same guy mm-hmm. who writes a book mm-hmm. using oh, the with the title Audacity. taken out. Of audacity of hope right. taken from right, mm. and bam, 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 is fighting right, is fighting his pastor. Now he's out of the church, yeah, just but, but out, the church yeah. is still going on, yeah. and he's furious at him, yeah, yeah. all right? And all kinds of, uh, uh, now, for example, one of the things that uh, the Zionists didn't like about uh, right, uh, Obama and Wright was that Wright was pro-Farrakhan, all right? So, Farrakhan, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, well, see, uh, remember, all this is going on in Chicago, which is where Farrakhan has his headquarters. Right, his you are. All right. Uh, okay. Wallace is there, All right, too. now, understand, I, I mean, I've checked this out. Oh. If you want to do political, philanthropical work in the Chicago black community, you have to deal in practice with Farrakhan. Because really? he's such a big oh. force. Yeah that I've read things in the Jewish press, mm-hmm. you know, the Jewish yeah. community newspapers, where they say, our guys in Chicago, we deal with Farrakhan all the time. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Obama has to badmouth Farrakhan, all right? So Farrakhan has to write about it, you know, in a, he has a newspaper, yeah. Final Call. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And what he started doing in response to, Far- to Obama dumping on him was he started quoting what Mandela said about Farrakhan and this black politician and this black statesman and so on and so forth. In other words, you know, oh, to who show... Are you talking Obama now? Yeah, in yeah. other words, Obama cool. to yeah. show yeah. whites, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm half black, I'm half white too, mm. you know. Mm. He had to bear, bear now Farrakhan, okay? But Farrakhan is a well-known... I mean, there's no other black in America today other than Obama who could pr- 
seduced hundreds of thousands of people in Chicago, in, in Washington. But you Farrakhan, a million man march. Well, I'm saying Farrakhan mm. did it twice. In mm. other words, what Farrakhan did after uh, Obama dumped on him was say, well, you know, the man dumped on me, but I got all these other guys who think I'm a terrific fellow, like Nelson Mandela, who mm. actually did something, mm. unlike <laughs> a certain presidential candidate I could name. You know, uh -huh. right? Now, look, at this particular point... How is Farrakhan to help? Oh, he's very sick. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. pancreas? I mean, he's essentially, let me put it this way, um, really, I read his paper, and I just had... Uh, I send out my material to a huge list, yeah. and uh, Final Call asked me if they could run some stuff on Israel and South Africa from me, okay. and I said, by all means, do good, so. Good, good. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, I mean, again, my, my point is uh, Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam are very definitely part of the black community. Mm, sure. All right. Mm. I mean, you know, and I want that. My complaint is not that they're anti-Israel, they're, they're very critical of Israel, but they don't really do much about it except talk. In other words, I don't see them, the Nation of Islam, marching in front of the Israeli embassies and stuff mm -hmm. like that here, mm -hmm. okay? okay. Uh, now, my attitude is really very simple, all right? There is not going to be any peace in Palestine and there is not going to be any peace in the Middle East unless there is absolute equality between Arab and Jew in Palestine. In one single in state? In one first? single state. Yeah, you felt and, that. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh -huh. and. Yeah, that's coming more and more. All yeah. right, but more than that, a democratic, secular, binational state in Palestine, in order for it to be real, it can't exi continue to exist with Saudi Arabia and absolute monarchy over here and Lebanon over here. Lebanon, which is borders on, on Palestine and Israel, all right, Hezbollah. has a constitution that requires the president's got to be More Maronite, Maronite yeah. Catholic, all right. okay, mm -hmm. the vice president or the prime minister, the, you know, I think it's the prime minister has to be a Sunni Muslim, mm -hmm. and the speaker of the, ha uh, the House of Representatives has to be a Shia. And but the reality, <laughs> is, the reality is, the reality is that the Shia are a, are the, a majority in and Lebanon. Growing, and growing. All right? Yeah. Now, they haven't had a, 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 a census since the 1930s. Really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize Well, that's that yeah. way, okay. you know, they don't confront reality, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But what, I'm saying, what mm -hmm. I'm saying is that the United States and Saudi Arabia and Israel support this mock democracy in Lebanon where the, pri the president has to be a Maronite, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what's-his-face uh, Bush is always uh, talking about, it's time to bring democracy to the Middle East. Isn't it funny? Well, look, I mean, it's the ultimate in hypocrisy because the United States sells weapons to Saudi Arabia, oh. okay? And, and has troops in yeah. Saudi Arabia. Right. And it gives weapons to Israel. Didn't they take so. a lot of their troops out of Saudi Arabia well, and, and put them in Qatar? Or yes, something, yes, or? yes, yes. Under the last Democratic president, uh -huh. Bill Clinton, we had 10,000 troops in Saudi Arabia. Uh -huh. All right? Uh -huh. Right there and next to Mecca. Saw American, <laughs> yeah. American female soldiers couldn't drive a car in Saudi Arabia, had to sit in the back of the car and had to wear the costume. And right? all that heat. Yeah, yeah, all right? Because yeah. I interviewed Lieutenant Colonel Martha McSally, the highest ranking uh, pilot, in the Amer uh, woman pilot in American Air Force, and she huh? had, she sued the government of the United States. Good for her. All right, yeah. but the point is that yeah. went on, it started under old Bush and continued right through uh, um, the uh, Clinton administration, and she got no help from feminist Hillary Clinton. All right. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, what I, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to put this together with, yeah. with this business with the Nazis that mm -hmm. I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. And particularly Israel, this personage of Obama. Yeah. Yeah. Israel has a terrible record. Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't know it from Obama. Mm -hmm. okay. No, because they got tremendous political clout, do well, they not? Let me, well, let me put it to you this way. 
And where does that come from? Well, let me let me explain. Fundraising? No, no. Well, well, well let, me, let me explain to. Because uh, he's got a way. new fundraising thing. Going Clinton, on. Uh, Obama, excuse me. Yeah. Obama has a policy of multi-ethnic, multi-religious pandering. Well, he, you call it pandering, but he may be calling us to a higher angels and well, so forth. He's trying. He's way. trying let to get above the way. frame. We can let all work together way. and make a apple pie. He has. Uh, this He's is, crying. He, he he has a woman in. Uh, um, uh, there's a reverend in uh, a black reverend in uh, 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 Brooklyn. I forget his name. It doesn't. His name doesn't come to me. Mm -hmm. uh, not Sharpton, uh, but another one. Mm -hmm. And this guy's daughter is in charge of Obama's uh, 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 campaign towards black evangelicals, and she talks in tongues. Mm -hmm. Okay. He has a special committee designed for what nuns, mm -hmm. nuns, not mm -hmm. just Catholics, but uh -huh. nuns, uh -huh. okay, how to talk to nuns, et cetera. Well, it's targeted marketing. All right. Yeah. Well, now, we have the same thing with McCann. McCain. Uh, McCain, mm -hmm. McCain had to kick Haggy out of his uh, 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 campaign because Haggy who is a Christian Zionist, bad mouths the Catholic Church. Fears. Fears. Okay. All right. Mm. And that's what started. Is, in mm. other words, uh, 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 people started, com uh, the Ca uh, Catholic League uh, started complaining about Haggy uh, bad mouthing uh, 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 the Catholic Church. Now, the reality was that Haggy when he wasn't bad mouthing the Catholic Church really? on one particular thing. He said, look, uh, 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 Pope Pius XII was uh, collaborating with Hitler, mm -hmm. okay, and that's what infuriated the Catholic League. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, it was absolutely true. Right? Well, the truth can be very upsetting. Well, but the point is that uh, what Obama to is trying to do is simultaneously win over the Jewish vote, the Catholic vote, the evangelical vote. I'll, I'll put it even a step further. Anybody. Anybody listening to this show, if you, if you go to Pennsylvania to go look at the Amish and you see some guy riding down the road with a, in, a, in, a, in a horse and buggy with Amish a little black hat. Obama? No, it, it ain't Amish for Obama. It's Obama dressed in an Amish <laughs> costume looking for the Amish. Oh, you call vote. it pandering, All right. but he's trying to include everybody. He's, and it could be that he's trying to set a new tone, audacity of hope, rise above the phrase, tried to work, well, work that look, look, in his oratory. He's a fantastic change, orator. All of that hope and change mm -hmm. is the same old, same old. You think so? Well, it, look. All right, here. There's a lot of people wait, wait, putting wait, wait, a lot wait, of faith wait, wait. in him, I understand, and he may here, be a phenomenon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Phenomena, phenomena. Okay. No, well, you right. don't, you're phenomena, too, phenomena. you don't think you're being a little this too cynical, is, maybe. Maybe give is, the man a chance to hey, rise hey, above the I'll prey and change. Chance. Here no. is the man. Okay, that's I the thing reading. I printed for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I am reading from Obama. Okay. This is Obama in Foreign Affairs in... Uh, that's the magazine. That's an authoritative journal. Yeah, it is the, it is like... Council on Foreign Relations. Ex... Secretaries Catherine. of State and yeah, stuff like yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. At moments of great peril in the last century, American leaders such as Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman, and John F. Kennedy managed to both protect the American people and to expand opportunity for the next generation. And, 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 and today, we are again called upon to provide visionary leadership, right? And he's going on about these, well, that's these characters. Well, wait a minute. Talk. There's only one little problem. What's the problem? Well, well but read, little, on, read on, McDonald's. Well, well, right. There's three little <laughs> problems. One of them is called Roosevelt. Uh -huh. Roosevelt was a fellow who put all the Japanese Americans... 100,000 of them, I think. ...in concentration camps. Mm -hmm. Not, he didn't put all of them, only the ones on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I rise to his defense. Mm -hmm. But that was a criminal action. Well, he certainly right? was. He was also... Only took 50 years to apologize for it. it. He was also... Mm -hmm. World War II was fought with a completely segregated army, mm. okay, and Roosevelt extended segregation deeper into the Air Force. Nobody brought, uh, the, uh, Jack Pershing, all he brought was to Europe with the troops that he brought over was uh, Jim Crow. Okay, now, <laughs> now, now, not only that, mm. not only that, mm. but, uh, well, let me put it this way. I don't know any president of the United States that has fallen from unbelievable popularity to contempt 
of the historians. Mr. Bush has set a record, has he not? Well, but I'm saying Hasn't that... Hasn't he set a new kind I, I of mean, record I beyond read, belief, a theory of the third? I have read any number of historians who have bad-mouthed Roosevelt. He did nothing for the, to, for the Jews. Truman before. was those unpopular. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So hero number one of Obama is Roosevelt. And I ask audience out there, does he know about Roosevelt putting all the Japanese in concentration camps? Mm. If he does, which I assume he does, mm. why is this guy an example of, in, of visionary leadership? That well, he plan. did Social Security. Now, wait, 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 wait. Then he goes to Harry Truman. Mm -hmm. All right? It's him, Drop Harry Truman. Mm. Now, Harry Truman is, is, will always be in the history books forever for having dropped the bomb twice on civilian targets, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can get away with dropping the bomb once on civilian targets. People may not like it, but okay. But when he dropped it twice on a civilian target, that was a war crime. Well, remember but, that, if, oh, wait a minute. Remember that there were more people killed in the firebombing the week before the dropping of the Hiroshima bomb. That's very and good, that was routinely going fine, on fine in Dresden Andy, and other but places. He dropped the atom bomb twice. It was an ugly minutes. historical thing. But he thing. did more. He did yeah. more. He, Harry Truman, was the guy who started using Nazis against the Soviet Union. Okay? Mm. A guy named Gellin. In, in our space programs. Too. Oh, more than that. No, yeah. no, no. Before Werner the space Van program. Brown. No, 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 no. Before the space yeah, program, okay. all right? The head of the Wehrmacht, that's the army, the mm. German army, spy system in Eastern Europe in the Soviet Union, mm. a guy named Gellin, okay. surrendered to the Americans and said, I want to work for you. There were a lot of people. So wait a minute. Wait, there was wait, a wait, lot wait, of wait, technology wait, and wait, stuff wait, going wait, on wait, in wait, Nazi wait, Germany. They so were ahead whereupon, in everything. Whereupon they took Gellin mm. and brought him to Washington. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you have to assume that Truman knew about it, mm. all right? So he it. started using Nazis, okay? Mm -hmm. And from then on in, I mean, the number of Nazi war criminals who got to the United States because they were helping America fight the, for the free world, all right? So that's Harry Truman, another hero. And then his third Truman uh, hero is John F. Kennedy, all right? There's only one little problem with John F. Kennedy, okay? I can think of lots. Well, I can think of, I mean, one. First of all, I almost first got of all, blown up. It was Robert Kennedy saved us from that, I he think. He wiretapped Martin Luther King. Yeah, Cohen Pro. Right. Pro. Now, let me tell you a story. This is real. This mm -hmm. happened to me. Mm -hmm. I, it was in 1968, and I went to Ramparts Magazine, if yeah. you remember it. Uh, right? yeah, I, mean, I was out in Robert San Francisco, Shearer, right? All right? and yeah. I had to see Shear about yeah. something. Yeah. I come out of Ramparts, and I hear a lot of noise. Mm. And what it is, is it's Bobby Kennedy campaigning, and he's in an open car. 68? You know, yeah, and yeah. he's waving at the people, mm. et cetera. All right? So I'm at On the his corner. way to the Ambassador Hotel? Well, wait, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. No, this is in San Francisco. Oh, the next okay. day yeah, he yeah. goes to L.A., all right? Yeah, but right. this is in San Francisco. I was in L.A. then. So hold on a minute. He stops at a corner. There's a huge drop, you know, a hill drop in mm. San Francisco. And he stopped at yeah. the corner there. And he turns around and he's waving at me. Yeah. All right? Now, the first thing that I noticed about him is his cheeks were ruddy red, really? like practically purple. And he, his hair looked like it had a, a halo around it. Okay? So You were sober. I, no, I'm completely sober. Yeah. But let me explain this. But I'm looking at it. This is what I'm seeing. Uh -huh. And he's waving at me. Mm -hmm. All right? So I say, who rules China? <laughs> and he looks at me. I go, who rules China? You had to answer a question again. And he glowers at me. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like in a comic book, yeah. you know, the, the light bulb goes on. Yeah. All of a sudden, like, a happy smile, like the light bulb goes uh -huh. on, and he waves at me to come <laughs> to the car. Uh -huh. Now I, you know, I, I, I rise to his defense. He doesn't yeah. really know where he mm. is. He's on a tour, you know. I know where. He, I mean, I'm, I, I live there. I think he was singularly important in waving wait, 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 off wait, the no, atomic no, no, bomb listen, listen, takeover don't, in don't, Cuba. Don't, don't, hey, hey, Robert be quiet. Kennedy. Be quiet. Yeah. All right. All of a sudden, I don't go out into the street to to the car, because I know the car is about to start down the thing. But when I don't go out, he's happy. He's won. 
okay, and okay. the car goes down the road, right. right? That night, a friend of mine, and I immediately, I mean, the car goes down the hill, I run back to Ramparts Magazine mm -hmm. to shear, and I say, what the hell is this business with the pink cheeks yeah. and the thing? What do you think? He says, the stuff on his cheeks is called pink ice, okay? Uh, now, he didn't explain what the halo was about, uh -huh. but later th that night, Kennedy was at a, 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 a fundraiser, and a, a journalist mentioned the, the glow and the glowing hair. What was it? I, I, as best as I can gather, and apparently some of the politicians were putting on makeup for photo ops as they were going through town. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Shear knew the, about the pink ice because he used to accompany some of these politicians. Okay. So, uh, yeah. all right. But yeah. the key was who rules China? Mm. This guy who was campaigning as an anti-war candidate wasn't really against the war. Okay, he was for negotiating, slowly getting out. Mm. The people were projecting onto him that what he was anti-war. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. that's exactly that what is happening with Obama okay, now. That's what you, okay, that's All right? point, yeah. In other words, and, yeah. and the fact that, in fact, that uh, Obama is using Kennedy as his hero, as his, as his idol. See, uh, you know, all right, I haven't done yeah. much, but I have my heroes, mm -hmm. okay? Look, America is a crazy place. Everybody knows that, all right? But the craziest thing about America is that it's a place where its airports spy on its national holidays. <laughs> All right? Yeah, yeah, right. If you yeah. think about yeah, it. Yeah, there I mean, are we some have absurdities. A John F. Kennedy airport, mm -hmm. all right, to mm -hmm. commemorate his assassination. Mm -hmm. But he and Bobby mm -hmm. signed the papers to wiretap Martin Luther King. Yeah. Now, you can yeah. talk yeah. all yeah. day and yeah. all night mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the Martin mm -hmm. Luther King. But you can't be simultaneously for Martin Luther King and the two cockroaches who wiretapped And him. what they can put over is Mencken said that nobody ever went broke, underestimated the intelligence of the American right. people, the and they're all waiting for something that will resonate to their thinking, and he's setting right. they are up as a tabla rasa in which well, they can write their own me, interpretation of this way. what you're saying. Let me put it this is way. Is he going to win the election? I, 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 I tell you this, mm -hmm. I am neither a prophet nor a prophet's son, so I don't predict winners of elections, mm -hmm. but what I do do mm -hmm. is predict losers of elections. Okay, and what right. is your prognostic? Loser, We've got about 10 the minutes, four minutes left. The loser of the election mm -hmm. is going to be any intellectual uh -huh. who supports Obama, whether Obama wins or loses the election. Okay, spell that out. What In that other mean? words, like the nation. Uh, nation. Uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 Katrina Van den Heuvel has mm. already endorsed Obama. All yeah, right? well, who has? She's yeah. going to look like an idiot, but she is an idiot. All right, uh, let's put it that well, way. Well, I wouldn't she is a, the biggest idiot in the planet because she not only is for Obama, she's on the board of directors of the Roosevelt Institute. Okay. Now that, you get it? No. She's on she's a liberal okay. who's on, on the board of directors of the Hyde Park Roosevelt Institute. The, Ro, that's the Roosevelt that put all the Japanese in the concentration. Well who are there. they going to who is somebody that is not of that ilk going well, to vote I, I, for I in the election? For you're gonna Nader. vote you're gonna vote for Ralph Nader. And, and okay. I tell you this, mm -hmm. I, I mean I, I, I my attitude is I'm critical of everybody. I yeah, you know, I noticed all right. yeah over the years. All right. But the snot, Not everybody. I will, put it, to you this way. Yeah. I will put it to you this way. The snot in Ralph Nader's left nostril is worth more than all of the Democrats in the United States of America. You call combined. it the lesser evil, right? The Democratic Party. That's the lesser because, evil. as I say, I have never met an educated Democrat who says, I believe in the Democratic Party. You know, like, I believe in, in Jesus or something like mm. that. They always give you this look, you got to be realistic, et right. cetera, et cetera. Yeah, right. Pragmatic. Now, C. Wright Mills coined power the phrase, elite. Yeah. No, in power elite, yeah. he coined, I think it was power elite, mm. he coined the phrase crackpot realist. Yeah, right, 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 right. Which, I mean, whoa, thank you, thank you, God, for sending us C. Wright Mills with crackpot realist. Yeah, he was realist, great. Yeah, right? yeah, good. Because that is what the intellectuals in the Democratic Party are about. All right. Mm -hmm. I put it to you this way. If you're for, out there, folks, if you are for 
Obama, are you prepared to take responsibility for the people that Obama, innocent people that Obama will kill if he becomes president kill. of the United okay. States? Well, well, in other words, if I arm Israel and Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and they shoot somebody with mm -hmm. my weapons, mm -hmm. I am an accessory before, during, and after the fact, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, in other words, uh, Thompson from the Thompson submachine gun used yeah. to sell submachine guns uh -huh. to gangsters, mm -hmm. all right? Good market. Probably. Right, hey, yeah, it yeah. was they the market. They kill each other all right. off. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. business is business, business all right? Is business, yeah. All right, well, let me put it this way. Israel has gone from supporting from from collaborating with Hitler, apartheid, Richard Nixon, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I mm -hmm. have a picture of Golda Meir mm -hmm. and Richard Nixon sitting together, and no two friends are, have ever existed better than these two We're guys. Princes, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, in in this particular election, <laughs> uh, there. The only, I mean, Nader is going to be speaking at the Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee, all right? Uh, my criticism of Nader isn't that he, is that he's really more of a domestic reformist than an internationalist. In other words, he should have been speaking out about Palestine and the Middle East a long time ago, yeah. but I, I, he, he stayed away from the issues because mm -hmm. a lot of his supporters on, you know, uh, environmental and ecological stuff here mm -hmm. and safety things yeah. with Jewish liberals. Yeah. Okay, so he didn't want to antagonize them, but love now he's speaking. Me, love me, love All right, me, but I'm a look, liberal. but let me let me put it to you this way. Let me put it to you this way. Obama is half, not only half black, he's half African. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm sure he's on record for saying something about Kenya and Zimbabwe, etc. Mm -hmm. But they're not big issues in his campaign. No, but they're big issues on the world scale. He may I'm be saying it's something. He may be making something a real change. Maybe. Oh well, no, no, no. But what so, I'm right? saying is, yeah. is that Obama is so concerned about showing that he's really everybody's candidate, maybe not the is. black candidate. Maybe he is the that black he's Messiah. He's not speaking about Africa when people are being killed in Africa and are starving in Africa. We've run out of time, Lenny. We could go on talking All for right. hours, but All they're right. going to close the clock on us any second, right. so they're about Invite 20 seconds. Back and uh, I'll, absolute... I'll bad mouth the rest Come of Come and get a there. program here, Lenny. Become and get a program. Right. Become a All regular right. producer All to right. put these words of wisdom right. out. Hey, the listen, world needs you folks it. out there, you want, you email me. And I'll bad mouth you out All there. All right, good, All Lenny. Good right. to see you. Always good to see you. Never a cynical word is heard from Lenny Brenner. Cynical Thank you very much. <laughs> never, I not never. I only take bribes, never I give heard bribes. I'm the only man in politics. Word. I take bribes, I ne give bribes. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you for viewing. We'll come back again tomorrow. It's Lenny Brenner. Uh, stay tuned. I think maybe Obama may bring something nope. new, and we need nope. certainly one thing we agree, nope. and we need something new. It's the height of hypocrisy. The Chinese have a proverb. It's yeah. the height of hypocrisy to look for the sacred emperor in the low-class tea shops. Oh dear! Not one sacred emperor ever hung out in a low-class tea shop, and uh -huh. it's the height of hypocrisy to, to look for a think. peace candidate in a party that arms South, uh, arms Israel, arms Saudi Arabia has a base in Guantanamo. Yeah, I know, I know, right. I know, I know, I know. Are we still on the air? I don't know if we are or not. We must be off the air. No, we've got to be off the air by now. So uh, right. that, so it doesn't count. They just haven't taken the graphic yeah. off. Okay, right. thanks. Let's get out of here. Yeah. we got to go. I, you know, bear in mind.